dot work. With this technique, I've inked countless tattoos like this one, and today I'm gonna show you how I do it. First, I create a gray scale from dark to light and fill the rest with sterile water. Once everything's ready, we can get started. For this tattoo, I'm using a seven round liner with a 0.3 millimeter needle. You can use thinner needles, but that will extend the working time. The needle protrudes about four millimeter from the needle module, allowing for precise work. I begin with the darkest shade, apply a bit of Vaseline, and off we go. My goal is to create a dot work shading that goes from dark on the outside to lighter on the inside. For this, I've drawn additional circles as guidelines. I sketch the outline with small dots to prevent the stencil from smudging. In my opinion, dot work is a fantastic technique to start with in tattooing. It's relatively quick to learn and still allows you to create beautiful tattoos. Once I've fixed the outline with dark dots, I work on the next circle with the second lightest gray tone. I fill the innermost circle with the lightest shade of gray. Now, it's time for filling, and I use the darkest color. The depth of the dots varies depending on how dark I want them to be, ranging from 0.5 millimeter to 1.5 millimeter. Deeper dots create darker shades, allowing you to create a gradient with just the darkest color. To achieve a lighter result, I leave more space between the dots. I'm making some passages in this video run faster because I would like to produce short and concise tutorials. Would you rather see real-time videos or do you find short videos like this more helpful? Dot work requires a delicate touch, and it's advisable to practice on artificial skin before applying it in practice. But you'll get the hang of it quickly, and you can even hear the depth of my dots in the sound I make while tattooing, which is also crucial. In a close-up shot, you can see individual needle points of the seven round liner. But don't worry, this isn't visible on real skin since the ink would spread into the skin pores. The first step is done, and all you see here was done using pure black ink. Now, let's move on to the second darkest shade. The technique remains the same, it's just a bit lighter. Make sure you always have enough ink in your needle module. It's better to dip more often than too little. I'll ensure there's a gradual transition to lighter shades inward. I'll work over the darkest areas with this gray tone to create a smooth transition.
In the innermost circle, I'll use the second lightest shade. In this step, it's crucial not to go too deep, as overly dark dots can ruin the whole design. So, be extra cautious with the lighter tones. Finally, I'll use the lightest shade to make the gradient even smoother. I work relatively quickly because I've done this many times. But if you're a beginner, take your time. You'll get faster with practice. To finish it off, I'll do some touch-ups with the darkest shade in certain areas. There are many different tattoo techniques, and I'd love to hear what you'd like to see next. Just leave your requests in the comments, and if possible, I'll create a tutorial for it. If you want to support us, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck on your journey.